welcome to lovely lovebird designs and so I'm going to show you how to make an Australian Shepherd on the rainbow loom there are many different color variations with this dog and this one is actually called a tan point blue merle and I actually love how he came out and I use caramel for the tan part and he even has it on the face and I intermixed white and gray from rainbow loom and I think it came out really adorable. And I also made a red moral also, and I used the same color pattern as this, but I used burgundy brown mixed with uh, caramel. And then I also made a black tri, which is all black. They all have the same pattern, but just change the colors up, and you have a totally different looking dog. They also come in various other colors, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this one, but if you want to change up the colors, like instead of using the gray and the white, you can use black, you can use just burgundy, you can mix it up just like this one with the burgundy and um, caramel, any colors you'd like. And also you don't have to put, some of these dogs don't have the caramel on the legs, so you can make it all white also. So they come in various colors, and I'm going to make this one, but remember you can change the colors on the legs, and if you don't want the caramel on the face, you can just put uh, white bands or gray or whatever color you want that face to be. Okay, let's get started. Okay, once again we'll be making this dog, but you can use whatever color variation you want. So, but. I'm going to show you step by step how to make this and then you can just change the colors up. So we're going to be using the gray rainbow loom and the white and I'm going to actually mix it for the head. I'm mixing the headpiece and the top of the legs and this one I'm just modeling it and the leg too. So I'll show you really you know how to do it. It's very easy. You just pick one gray and one white and you just place it on the top of the loom. Remember it's staggered position, arrow facing down. And it doesn't matter if the white's on top or the gray's on top, because it's all gonna be mixed up. It's a really beautiful dog. So then we're gonna place another white and gray on the right. And now I'm gonna work on the middle of the face, which is gonna be all white, and the double white. Here's another double white. And then that's three stitches right there. Okay, now I'm going to work on the side of the head. I'm going to place the gray on top so it's a little bit better to differentiate the colors. So, but just to make sure that this is a gray and a white and a gray and a white, and then these are just white. So we're going to do gray and white again. another gray and white and then we're going to go to the left side same gray and white and another pair okay so I'm going to be making the neck white so it's going to be a triple white from this pin to this pin. Okay, now we're going to the side of the neck area and it's going to be a gray and white and it's going to be actually a big stretch. It's going to stretch from this pin all the way down to this pin. So it works out better for the body. So it's not stretched to here, it's stretched all the way down to here. Then we're going to do another gray and white, same big stretch. From here to here. Now the neck area, I'm going to use gray and white for the neck area. It's going to be right here. So we'll pick another gray and white. And it's going to be from this pin to this pin.
Okay, and then we'll do another gray and white. From this pen to this pen. Okay, now the middle of the body, I'm going to model it. So I'm going to actually just do double white, then double gray, double white, and I'm going to mix it like that. So we're going to start first with the double white. It's going to be five stitches long. So this is the first stitch, then a double gray. And if you're making a different dog, like the red merle, so you just use whatever color you're, more, you're using as your gray, as like the burgundy brown or the copper, you know, anything like that comes out the same. So then you do a double white. It's a lot of coloration with this dog. Then a double gray. So it's one, two, three, four, and then double white. Okay, so the side of the body, I'm going to use a double gray for this part. Then the double white. Then we'll go back to gray, then white again, and gray. We're going to connect these two pins. Okay, same with this side. We're just repeating. So we'll do gray first. Then the white, then gray, then white. If you're making an all black dog, like the one in the beginning of the video, it's so much easier because then it's just all black. And then we'll go to gray right here. Okay, so this is your body. Now we're going to work out the legs. You can push these down. And like I said before, I'm going to be using the caramel bands. If you want all white leg, you can just do all white. Anything you want. So but I'm going to mix it up like this. So you need a black band for the claw area. So it's going to be a single black. Place it on the hook, wrap it four times. So one, two, three, and four. Then a, two bands of the white for the little paw. Then another double band of white. And now we're going into caramel. And that's going to be two stitches of caramel. So it's going to be a double of the caramel. Here's the first stitch. Then another double. And now finally the top of the dog. I'm going to place one gray and one white. And that will mesh with the body. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, so you have that long stretch here, and then it's connecting to this neck area, so we're going to place the leg right here. Okay, now we're going to repeat and go on this side. So once again, a black, wrap four times. So one, two, three, four. Then two whites. Okay, that's one and two. Now two stitches of caramel. Okay, 
Okay, and then the single gray and the single white. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, so now the hind legs. The hind legs, I'm making more caramel. I've seen a lot of pictures of the dogs with more caramel on the back. If you want to keep it with a white, in the, you know, the two stitches of white, you can do that. Any coloration you'd like. So but I'm going to make it the three stitches of the caramel. So it's going to be a single black, one, two, three, and four. Then you have a double of the white. And I'm going to make three stitches of caramel. That's one, two, and three. Okay, so now we'll place that to the side and we're going to make the thigh area. And you need a single gray and a single white. You're going to place it on a loom from this pin to this pin. Then another single gray, single white. And you're placing from this pin to this pin. Then you're going to place your leg as the capping band. And we're going to loom this side band first. And then this one on the left. Okay, we're going to take it off the loom. And you're going to place it on this pin and this pin. So here's one. And two. Okay, that's your hind leg. And we're going to repeat on this side. Single black. One, two, three, four, then double white, okay, then the three caramels, okay, one, two, and three. Place it to the side, take a single gray, single white, place it on a loom, then another single gray, single white, and then place this on here as the capping band. I'm going to loom this one first. And I'm going to place it on this pin and this pin. So now we're going to make a little extension for the chest area. It's going to come out a little bit and it's going to be a white extension. If you don't want white in the front in this area, you can change the colors also. It's a simple little extension. It's going to be a double white. Push this down. It's going to connect from this pin to this pin. Then another double white. Okay, so it's just two. 
I'm going to do the same on this side. Double white and double white. Okay, now we'll put structural bands. I'm going to use, for this dog I use white, so I'll use white bands for this. If you have an all black dog, you can use all black, whatever colors, but it'll show a little bit through the back. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to use white. It's a single, and you're going to make a little triangle. Okay, another single triangle. Then another one. And last one. Okay, tail. A lot of them actually have docked tails and some have fluffy tails. If you want a dock tail, which means it's just no tail at all, you take a double band of whatever color you choose, and you can use gray or white, or gray and white, and double band, wrap it around this two times. So it would be one and then two, and that would be your dock tail. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make the fluffy tail, and it's pretty simple too. I'm going to use the same technique of the single gray, single white. If you want your tail different color, you can have it a different color too, all white, whatever you'd like. So it'll be really cute. So all of these are single gray, single white. I'm going to place it from this pin to this pin. And then another here. And then we're going to place from this pin to this pin. And then another one right here. And then finally, so it's one, two, three, from here to here. I'm going to show it in the camera. And then another one right here to here. And once again, it's all just gray and white. Okay, the end of the tail, I'm going to make it a white point with a single gray and a single white. So I'm going to take a single white right now, wrap it around three times. So one, two, three. Then another single gray, single white, place it on the hook, bring it back on there, and that's your capping band. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, now the structural bands for this. I used white for this one. You can use gray also, but I'm going to use white. So it's going to be a single, twist upon itself, and connect these two pins. Take another single, twist upon itself, connect these two pins. Okay, and then we can start looming. I'm going to grab this one first. It's the top two bands. Then I'm going to grab this one. And then this one. Okay, we're stopping there. Now the left side. Just want to make sure I have them. and bring it forward. Now, I want to place my hook right through both of these. 
and then we can take it off the loom, keep it on the hook. So now it looks like this. Now I want the tail a little bit longer, so I'm going to use a single white and two grays, or you can do two whites and one gray. So it's going to be three bands total. Place it on the hook, then slide this on those three bands, and this is your tail. I'm going to place it right here. Okay, so this is your body. You're done with the body. Now let's work with the head. Okay, so there is actually a band right here behind the, ha the eye to make the shape of the head like this. So I'm going to use a single white and a single gray, put it together, and we are going to push these down, and we're connecting this pin, so it's one, two, number one, number two, all the way to this top pin. Okay, so we're going to do gray and white. Big stretch. Okay, we're going to do another gray and white on the right side. Okay, now we're going to make the eyes. I'm just going to use basic black for the eyes. I've seen these dogs with blue eyes, even multicolored eyes. So it's going to be on the hook, make a figure eight, grab it, and bring it around again or you can wrap it around four times. Here's another black. Figure eight. Wrap it around again. And I'm gonna use gray. You can use white too if you want. Single, and then you bring it the eye over. And we're gonna place it on these two pins. Bring the middle over that middle pin so it rests like this. So I put it on this pin and this pin, and it's resting in the middle of this middle pin. Place your eyes there. You can use beads also. Okay, the snout. We're going to use a white snout for this guy. The nose will be black. One, two, three and four. Then we're going to use four bands for the white, for the snout. Place it on the hook, dangle it so that they're all around the same size, same shape. Slide that nose over. Make sure it's in the middle. Then I want to bring the other loops over like this. And I'm going to make a white band, a single white, and slide that nose over. And we're going to place it from this pin to this pin to connect. And bring it across. So it lays right like that. Okay, so now we're almost done. I'm going to make this caramel on the side. If you don't want caramel, you can do white or you can do gray, but it's going to make this coloration on the side. So you need a double caramel, and what we're going to do is we're going to place it from this pin to this pin. Okay, so double caramel from here to here. Okay, it's going to look a little weird, but it'll come out really super cute. And bring that snout out. Then another double caramel on the same end of this side.
and bring that out in the middle once, just like that. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to make the ears. I'm going to make little white points on the ears like this. And if you want to do gray points, you can do that too. And that would be like this little capping band. It's a single white. Wrap it around three times. So one, two, and three. Then I'm going to grab two grays and one white. If you want lighter ears, you can do two whites and one gray or just all white. Bring it over so it looks like this. And then I'm going to use a single gray, twist it upon itself, slide the ear on there, bring it back on here just like this. I'm going to place it on this pin. And bring it up and repeat on this side. So one, two, three, two grays and one white. Bring it like that and then another single gray twist it on itself. And just like that. And we're going to bring it right there. Okay, this is your layout. Make sure your dog looks like this. And we can start looming. Okay, pay very close attention because some of the bands are different colors, and especially here it's gray and white, so you want to grab just two bands at a time. I'm going to take it slow like I always do with the other tutorials, and it shouldn't be that, that bad. So you pull back the tail, and our first band to loom will be this left gray band. It's the uppermost band, and it's going to be just two of them. And bring it to the left pin. Now my other band I'm going to loom is this right band. It's also gray. And that'll be two. And now we're going to loom the middle up to this neck area. And here is a white band. Then it's gray. White gray and white. Okay, we're stopping right there. Now we're going to work with the extension. It's going to be really easy. It's good. We're going to grab this white band all the way at the bottom. We're not touching any of this, just the white all the way at the bottom. So all the way down, grab that bottom, bring it up, and then now all the way at the bottom again. Okay, we're stopping. Now this is where our little chest extension is. We are only grabbing this white band and this white band. We're not touching these bottoms. So we're going to just grab the double white on top and double white on top. Okay, we're stopping. Put your finger right here, and we're just going to grab this top extension and pull it to the side. And that's it. So we already loomed that extension. Now we still have this to loom. Okay, we already did this gray part. Now we're just going to loom this white part. So go all the way down and loom forward. Now it's a gray part, and we're stopping. Now I have this shoulder area, and it's not the bottom band. This is where it gets a little um, confusing, and be careful. Remember, we have a gray and white here, and we have a gray and white here. So we're not grabbing this bottom, bottom band. We're grabbing the 
two gray and whites on top of this band. So we're grabbing this one. So not this one. So dig all the way down, take your time. And just grab, you can see my hook, that band. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to bring my hook down and grab this band. Okay, I have one gray, and I got to grab that white. Okay, got it. And bring it over. Okay, so I just grabbed that, and now I'm going to do the same on the left side. So once again, we're just grabbing the bottom, the white band, white bands, and now here's gray. Okay, we're stopping. Here's my extension. And I'm just grabbing this white top extension. Move forward. Here's another white, only the top. Place my finger here, and we're going to just grab it and bring it to the side. Okay, so now I already have this gray. I'm going to grab the white on the bottom. Okay, now it's a gray on the bottom, I'm stopping, and once again, I just want this gray and white that's like the shoulder area, and this one's easier to see too because I can move it this way, and we're not grabbing this band, just the top two. Okay, I grab the white. Now I just have to grab the gray. Okay, it's over. So I grab that, and now I'm going to loom this long, stretchy one on both sides. So we're going to go all the way at the bottom. It's going to be a gray and white. Be careful because it's tight in this area. We're stretching it to this pin where this caramel is. Okay, we're going to do the same here. All the way at the bottom. Okay, now this is a triple band right here. Go all the way at the bottom, it's the three white triple bands at the bottom, the last three. Okay, move forward. Now I'm going to grab this white band. And now I'm grabbing my caramel band. And there's a certain way to loom this face so that he looks like this and the caramel is behind the white. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to just grab this caramel band and bring it to this pin. Okay, we're stopping. Now this caramel band. Okay, so now I have this white band right in the middle, and I'm going to bring it forward. This is this little snout area. I want the snout through this band, so pay close attention. I'm going to bring it over, pull that snout right through. 
so it's right through that white section. So now I want to grab this black and I mean this um, gray and white band right here. Okay, we're looming there. Now I have this diagonal band that I want to grab. And one more thing, I'm going to keep this the same like this. So I'm going to keep this like here. We're going to stop here. We'll do the same with this left side. Okay, so I'm going to loom now. We already loomed this part. There's this white band right here, and I'm going to loom that right now. So we're going to go in between these eyes. It's a double white. Okay, I'm going to loosen it up. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to loom this diagonal band. And remember, it's right here. We're not going down here to loom forward. We're just doing this diagonal. So it's going to be underneath this little white band. Okay, and looming to that middle pin. Take your time because there's a lot of different bands here. Now we're going to loom this right side. To the ear, then finally this top band. Okay, so now let's work on the left side. And once again, we're grabbing this diagonal. So we'll go all the way down. Make sure you grab that. It's a single white and gray. Now this band on the left. And finally this one right here on the top. I grabbed one gray here. There's my white. And to that middle pin. And this is your layout. So now I'm going to grab a single gray and a single white to the, the capping band. I mean the um, slip knot. Pull it right through. Make your slip knot, pull taut, and now we can slowly take it off to make sure yours looks like this. You can pause it and make sure it looks. There's a lot of stretched bands in this dog, so make sure you take this off slowly so you don't break anything. neck area. So he looks a little bit mangled up, but like all the other dogs, we're going to turn this into this little guy. So stretch him out, pull the legs out, put your finger behind his head and push. Bring the nose out and see the bands, the eyes are sunken in. I'm going to take him out, the eyes out. Beautiful black eyes. I want the eyes on top of the caramel part. OK, 
Okay, the nose, the snout area. You can actually take your hook and go underneath this caramel to bring it out a little bit more. So it's more prominent. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna, there's a triple band. If you pull the neck up, there's this triple band right here. You're gonna remember the stretched bands that we had here? We're gonna place our hook right through the stretched bands and that triple, just like that. And then do slight tugs and it's gonna move his neck up. Bring it out, and now his head is up, and you have this white chest area. And we're going to bend him over to sew him shut, and he's going to look beautiful. You need the trusty scissor for this, and I'm going to use a single white band. Okay, so we're going to sew this body shut. If you ever did any of my other tutorials, you know um, what I'm going to do. We're going to shut him like this, fold him, and then you can see the white chest right here. We're going to put our hook right through this band right here. It's just the little extension that we had before, so make sure it looks like this. Then we're going to take our single white, or if you want to do the gray, bring it through both of them. Make a slip knot, pull to it, and then we're going to go to the next stitch of the white, and then bring, um, I call it thread, through, and that's where we're sewing him shut. Now I have a little gray part, so I'm going to put the hook right through the gray, bring it through, and now I have a little white part and a little white stitch. I'm just sewing him shut. Okay, you can stop right there, or you can go a little bit farther and go to the gray, whatever you want. Okay, we'll pull that. I'm going to take my trusty scissor and make sure don't um, cut yourself or cut the dog. Just going to snip the end. And then we're going to anchor one part within the dog and then sew it. Sew it shut. Close it. So I'm going to Grab that, bring it over, bring it under one of the inside stitches, and so and just make it like a triple knot. It's one, two, and three. Okay, so I usually cut the ends off, or you can also just hide the excess within the dog too, just like that. So if you do cut the ends off, make sure you don't cut any other bands. So now, stretch them out, pull the legs down, legs down, bring that head back up, make him the shape that you want. Now his tail, I want it up instead of down. And if you have a dock tail, then you don't even have to do this step. You have that triple band right here. Place your hook right under, and then do slight tugs. And I'll bring it up, move the tail, and the tail will go up. Okay, you can keep on doing those movements until the tail goes up nicely. And now we're going to make the little paw areas. And 
you just want to separate the claws, so the four little sections, and then take the white on the bottom, tug it slightly, and it'll make a little paw. And we'll do the same with this one. Separate. And a little paw. And do a slight tug. Okay, same in the back legs. Okay. Then the white. Okay, so they're all like that. Now if you want can maneuver the, the head so the neck stands up straight. Push this down. And the ears. Now, the ears go are floppy. They go down like that. So what I do is I pull this ear. And I want it more on the top of the head so it's attached to these bands. So I'm going to hold the back of the bands in the back of the head, and just move it forward a little bit, and then just like the paw we did before, we're going to touch the top of the ear and move it down. And then the ear goes like this, instead of straight up. So once again on the left, I want to bring this single twist in the front. We'll go in the front, it's more on the top of the head, and then bring, tug the ear down, so they're beautiful and floppy. Then we're going to sew this in the back of the head to make a more 3D dog. Okay, and just sew the back of the head shut. Just like that. And now I have a predicament. If you don't like, there's a lot of caramel in his face. If you don't want the caramel showing too much, you can hide it a little bit by taking your hook and grabbing the caramel bands and moving that white more toward the middle and the caramel more to the side and that should take care of some of that caramel in the middle of his snout and if not because this dog is so beautiful it doesn't matter like you know the colorations and everything it's just all meshed and beautiful so and that is your blue merle tan point so if you're making the other ones, you can have the same variations. And this is the black try. And I think he came out really gorgeous. And I like the caramel in the front and how it looks and it wraps around. And then once again, if you, you can maneuver the bands around and hide that inside caramel if you don't like that. But I think it looks nice. So this is um, the tutorial. And please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. See you soon. One more thing before we go. I just figured out if you don't want this little caramel in the middle of the, the muzzle area, you can actually place your hook right underneath that little bit. It's going to be like two bands going that way and a, like an X. And then you can bring your snout. Now you don't have to do this, it's only if you want to hide that caramel. Bring it through. And now it's more like this. So you just hit it. You just basically just brought the snout underneath those caramel bands and you just change the shape of his face. So now they're on the bottom. Simple fix if you don't like the caramel in the middle. But if you do, just leave it like that. And then you have it on the sides here, and it's all white going up. 
And once again, this dog comes in many, many different color variations. You can always move the head back up like that too. Okay, see you. Please subscribe.